I'm Russell Eyring from the Cincinnati Art Museum. Liz Simmons, research assistant for the exhibition Frank Duvenek, American Master, recently made a video for us highlighting Duvenek's use of costumes and characters in his artwork. In her video, Liz showed us how Duvenek and his fellow artists would make funny caricatures of each other. Here's one he made of artist John Twachman, and here's a remarkably similar drawing made by Robert Frederick Bloom included in this full page of caricatures. Caricatures are just drawings of people that exaggerate their features for comic effects. Sometimes they're really cartoony, like this Duvenek self-portrait, but other times they can look more realistic, like this caricature by Honoré Daumier. Daumier often used caricature to make fun of French politicians and even the king, which eventually landed him in jail for about six months. Of course, we still see caricatures used in political cartoons where we need to be able to recognize a public figure or celebrity very quickly. And you've probably been to a carnival or a theme park where you could have your own caricature made. These artists usually use drawings of celebrities to showcase their styles. That or Brad Pitt just hangs out at a lot of state fairs. So I'm also going to practice making a caricature today using a celebrity, and you can make one too using one of your favorite celebrities, or maybe a family member who has particularly thick skin. For my drawing, I wanted to choose a celebrity who has very distinct features, but is also relevant and recognizable. So I chose Abe Vigoda from TV's Barney Miller. So I'm not a great caricaturist, and there are so many people who are way better at this than me, but I do usually have fun making them, and I also usually learn something from the experience. Even though caricatures are about exaggerating, they really require you to look carefully. Doing some blind contour drawings as a warm-up might be a good idea, and if you don't know what those are, I also happen to have made a video about them. As always, it's probably a good idea to start with a pencil or something lighter that you can erase or work easily on top of. It's a good idea to start by getting down the big shapes of the face and try to think of them as just abstract geometric shapes. Abe has a very long face, so I really made sure to exaggerate his chin, making it almost like a big ice cream cone. I also noticed he has really big bushy eyebrows, so I tried to exaggerate those as well. Pay really close attention to the eyebrows. People make such a big deal about the eyes. They're the windows to the soul. But the eyebrows do a lot more heavy lifting when it comes to capturing a likeness or conveying emotion. Exaggeration isn't just about making things bigger. I noticed the space between his eyes and the top of his head was much more narrow than most people, so I exaggerated that too by making his forehead smaller. I would do the opposite if I were drawing Kelsey Grammer, for instance. Now that you have a basic sketch, look at your drawing and look at the person and see if there are any changes you should make now while it's still pencil. Are the eyes too big? Are they too small? Do they need to be higher? Do they need to be lower? Now's the time to make those changes before you commit to ink. After I did my first sketch, I went back over with a darker ink, cleaning up my lines and adding some more variety of line weight. Finally, I went back in and added some more color and shadows. Shadows not only help make the head feel more round, but can also help with the likeness. For instance, I use them to help imitate the darker tone around Abe Vigoda's eyes. A fun part of caricatures is they don't all have to look alike. Some people try to make theirs incredibly lifelike, while others make them flat and geometric. So have fun making caricatures, and if you get really good at it, you'll always have a job at a carnival.